Visualizer streams data directly from the cloud where the DeepLake data set is stored to this browser application with no backend. Now using your mouse or trackpad, you can zoom out and traverse this data set. And you can see how the samples are loaded as they're being streamed to this browser. Now by double clicking in the white space in between the samples, you can get back to a 90 degree view. And then using this index selector on the left, you can go to a particular sample in the data set. So now we go back to our original sample. And by clicking on the sample itself, you can view detailed information, such as the content of the actual tensors themselves. Any data in the Deep Lake data set that is sequential in nature, such as sequences of images or videos, will also get this play bar, where you can play the data continuously, or you can also do that frame by frame. Then here's another example. The visualizer has three modes for exploring data, and they can be changed using this mode selector here in the middle at the top. So we have canvas view, grid view, and single sample view. Now in canvas view, this provides the most robust way to explore large amounts of data because the data is displayed on one giant canvas. Now the only constraint in canvas view is that in certain parts of the canvas, the data may not be in order. Now in order to see the data in order, that's where you want to use grid view. So grid view essentially adjusts the ordering of the samples so that the beginning of one row is always after the end of the prior row, no matter how much you zoom in or out. And then single sample view will describe separately because it offers a bunch of additional features. At its core, single sample view enables you to visualize samples one at a time, and you can traverse them using this index selector at the top left. But most importantly, single sample view allows you to create custom dashboards for cases where you don't want all the tensors to be overlaid on top of each other all the time. So in this autonomous driving data set, we can actually create a custom dashboard to display the tensors in a way that we want. So we simply on the bottom left here, click add view. And then for each separate view, we can select the tensors that we want shown in this view. So this particular data set has camera recordings on the same vehicle at the same time from different angles. So here on the left, we're showing the left camera. Here on the right, we're showing the right camera. And then we'll add two more views to add the depth and the disparity map. And now that we've created this dashboard, again, using our play bar that's available for all sequential data, we can go through the individual samples for this view, play them continuously using this play button. And then now when we go back into our grid or canvas view, all of the data is shown using this dashboard that we just built in the arrangement that we created. And then in single sample view, if you have right access to this data set, when you click on save layout, this will become the default view that other users that also have access to this data set will see when they open it up. Most of the features we just described can also be integrated into your own application. In our documentation, check out this page about visualizer integration, where you can learn how the integration works through an HTML iframe or our JavaScript API.